13. It will always work. This has been a wonderful encounter session, I, I believe, from uh, the music, which I thought was awesome. Beth, you can sing, girl. Maybe it's this microphone, because my daughter sang there, too. <laughs> from, the, from the Face of the Giants clip, I think. I, I hope that, you know, I wasn't just doing it to fill up time. There was a purpose there to remind us of what God will do in our lives. And from his word, pivotal for us to trust God in his word to better our lives and to better the lives of those who come in contact with us. We're going to go to a time of invitation now. And I want to encourage you, if the Lord is speaking to your heart, if he's prompted your spirit, maybe you're someone here that doesn't know Jesus. You, bet you could have been in church all your life, by the way, and not know Jesus. Now, there was an apostle that walked and talked with Jesus for three and a half years. Turned out, he surely didn't know Jesus. He betrayed Jesus. For 30 pieces of silver. Now, I'm not saying there's any in here like that. <clears throat> but you might be someone who's taken for granted the fact that I'm in church. I must be a believer. The Bible teaches the key to salvation is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. In John 14, 6, Jesus himself told the disciples, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. He didn't say, I am the, I'm the church attender, I'm the tithe giver, I'm the song leader. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You come to Jesus, you come to the Father. You come to church without Jesus, if you leave without accepting him, guess where you leave? You leave without Jesus too. And you've lost that. I want to encourage you, if you don't know Jesus, to receive him today. Uh, if, there's any, or if there are any other decisions you have to make, maybe God's calling you to be part of the river. I'd encourage you to come forward for that. If you have a burden... I've seen how the Lord's been working here at the church. The altars are open. God wants to hear from you. Don't hold it back. Give it over to Him. If you want someone to pray with, I'll pray with you. If you want to pray by yourself, that's an option too. Just open your hearts to Jesus.
asked this question earlier. I think you asked it. So who's glad to be here? And a bunch of people are like, hey, nice to be too. I can't tell you how excited I get to be here. I drive three and a half hours from Baxley, Georgia, the home of cows and dirt roads. <laughs> and I get excited to be in God's house, to be here at the river and worship, to be able to share his word. And I hope truly that's what God's doing with you, that you're connecting to God. You're encountering him, opening your hearts up so that he can bless you. We're going to sing back in the day. We used to we'll sing one more verse. But you'll just sing until God says you stop crying. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
But we're going to do that, and then the following weekend, we're going to have the Easter egg right here on the site. We're trying 20,000 eggs. You know, I thought that was like a big number, and then I started adding it up. And I said, that's a really big number. But you know, we have an opportunity to ministry. Now, we also have something else coming up, too. Uh, we're looking at taking a mission trip to Baxley, Georgia, to do some work at the Georgia Baptist Children's Home down there. We're, we've got that in the plans. And there's even a, a trip somewhat far on the horizon to go to Haiti, possibly. We're looking to that. By the way, there's a missions class that started meeting today. I think they were supposed to meet today. We'd love for you to come to the missions class with Joe Brock. Somebody go get him, please. Thank you. I understand. We've got that on the horizon as well. And let's see, I don't know if we're getting something. River groups. River groups meet on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Ladies, if you have not been to the women's Bible study, take the time to go. You'll really enjoy it. You'll get a lot out of it. Men is turning into a men's group on Thursdays. Um, the men, there are a few of us out doing doing um, a study called Crazy Love. If you haven't ever done that, you ought to come and join us. It talks about falling in love with God again. It talks about your first love and how intense it was and how we should be that way with Christ. It was a good thing. And then also, Dan. We got this big deal coming up, Brian. I forgot about this. It's even we have a, a, an ordination service on April 21st at 5 p.m. We're going to have a worship service, but we're going to ordain uh, Dale Gresham and James Rupp. We've got starting next Sunday. Oh, yes, we have children's choir as well. Uh, we'll be starting next Sunday. Any children who want to participate in, in children's choir singing praise, praise songs to God. Rebecca's going to do that. She knows what she's doing. She loves Stephen Wonder up there earlier. She's doing Or Ray Charles. I don't know. She's getting out. Did you anybody know? Y'all know who Ray Charles is. Stephen Wonder, right? I mean, I'm not saying you look like them. But you look like them. I mean, you were, you were into it. It was good. I'm going to be quiet. What time? Oh. Uh, Starts at 330. 3.30. Um, it'll be going on about the same time uh, the mission is passed. will be going on, so. Where is it going to be that? In here? The choir? Um, no. It'll probably be over in the, in the uh, clubhouse over there until we can get more children. Um, we'll, uh, we'll just play it by ear. We'll just take a hand in there or something. Yeah. 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 Alright, this uh, is pretty Heavenly Father, we uh, <clears throat> ask that you will just bless this offering for you, Lord. We, uh, we know that the money that we put in here, Lord, go out to the community to reach the lost community. and um, That's how we are able to fund the Easter baskets and the fruit at Christmas. And um, this is how we reach the lost, Lord. And so we ask that you will just bless this offering and multiply it, Lord.